Well, it's been a, a cracking restart to, to rugby for, for the Chiefs and that, but it comes thick and fast again this weekend. Worcester um, a test in itself again. Yeah, look, hundred percent. We know, we know. Every side is is gunning after, uh, you know, important wins at this time of the season. Um, we're really pleased with the way uh, we've come through the last couple of games and used the squad, the way the squad's bonded together, but also has driven itself um, to produce two quality performances. We're we're hugely pleased with where we, where we've come out of the last two games, but equally. It does come very quickly, and we've we've moved right right on to Worcester, uh, and obviously a massive game this weekend. Everyone's talking about squads are going to be utilised to the full. How impressed were you with the way that this different fourteen came in on Tuesday night? And it seems seamless from the previous week. Yeah, look, look pleased with those guys. Look, pleased with the bench as well. The the young lads coming off the bench. That, that's the the great bit about this uh, time of the year. We're getting to see extra people that we haven't seen in the Premiership game before, and and it's fantastic fantastic to see uh, them at that, le that level in it, and they, they clearly can cope with it and we, what we've got to do is in keep improving them so that they're, they're really shining in those games Look, and uh, you know the guys that um, there's a few old, old heads that, that came up the other night and stepped up and, and really put in a, a top quality performance you know the ones that we, we've seen over the years and they just keep keep responding so to the challenge so really pleased with that but um, but also you know on, uh, when we go back to sale the, the group of lads that took the field there uh, the way we came through the game uh, was, was fantastic for the club and as I say getting points now on the board is hugely important going through the rest of the season. Rob's talked a lot about the work that was done in lockdown boys came back in really really good nick it meant your job from stage one was very simple stage two you got very quickly and got you up to speed and I think that's probably testament now you're seeing the, the fruits of it all yeah look there's a, there's a lot of hard, lot of hard work off the field as well you know you can't underestimate the work the the medics and the SSC guys have done to get us you know to this stage obviously the logistical side of things but but then the players you know the responsibility they've matured as a, as a group that when they were away on their own you could see um, they came in in great nick because they were they were putting it in on their own so um, they've put themselves in the best shop window so that when we pick things up on the coaching side um, it's been very easy in the sense of we haven't had to up, up speed their, their conditioning what we've had to do is, is just get back to um, reintroducing them back to the way we do things and the, and the, uh, the way we play and the decisions we make out there uh, and, and as I say well, that's what we were able to do we were able to spend a lot of time on that because they'd given themselves the foundations to, to kick on and say each and every game we come up against now is is knocking us on further because of the way we want to play, because of the, uh, the style of rugby we play, uh, and because the guys want to challenge themselves each week. So um, they're just growing and getting better and better, and, it, and it's, it's fantastic to see. People will talk that you've beaten two of your top three rivals in the, in the past couple of weeks, but Worcester past experience tells us we've had some close run battles with them, haven't we? You know, you have to look a couple of seasons ago, they took the unbeaten record from here. Yeah, look, they they're they're hugely um, uh, talented side, and they've got a, a lot of guys that are, are keen to push on. They've got a new co coaching group. Um, like you said, two years ago they came here and won. So we're under no illusions. Anyone can come here and win. Uh, what we've got to do is make sure we're in the right mindset to make that very difficult for sides. So if we're we're hundred percent committed and hundred percent focused, then. Equally, there might be a good side that comes and turns us over. We can accept that. It's, it's when we drop our standards that they're the disappointing ones. So we've got to make sure we, we put a performance out there that um, you know challenges Worcester and ho hopefully we can be good enough to win the points. Rob talked about also post-game Tuesday night that it's a case of building performances now. You've had really good three games back in, but now you're building for some really, really big games on the horizon. You've got quarterfinals in Europe potentially semi-finals in the Premiership and further. Yeah, but I think it's important as players and coaches, we don't uh, look too far ahead. As players, you know, they know now there's competition for their places, so they've got to perform this week. Otherwise, that place could slip away and that future, you know, big games in the future might slip out of their hands because of their performances because they know there's some other guy that's performing at a very high level. So um, it's great all round. We've got guys challenging for places. Um, it can be a difficult job selecting. So, nice um, absolutely nice header. You, you know, you want it. The worst thing in the world is where you can't find anyone. So, look, we've got options uh, uh, in all positions, which is great. Uh, we want to keep um, pushing 
pushing forward, but they've got to push forward with top quality performances, as I say. Um, things might change over the next couple of weeks. There's a slightly different emphasis um, w regarding refereeing. So um, we might see uh, a bit more ball in play time and a, and a bit more uh, attacking rugby. Um, and then our ability to see how what we can put onto the field in, in that regard will, will, be, will be great to see. Good news this week was that they're talking about pilot uh, events for getting fans back in. What's it been like from you as a coach watching empty stadiums and how much do we miss the buzz of a match day with the fans? Well, uh, look, it's it, it's it's sad at times, you know, to to see um, the the stadiums empty. You know, fantastic stadiums, not full of full of crowd. Um, it's sad that we can't, you know, put light light up people's lives because you can do that, you know. Um, but we're hopefully we're doing that, connecting through the TV at the minute. But um, as I say, to get people back in the ground, especially here at Sandy Park, uh, will, will be a, a great great day. We'll we'll all be hugely excited for that. And as I say. Um, it, it's great. It's great to have it. Um, you know, the players. You know, like that on the day. It's a whole. The, cl the fantastic thing about this club. It's a whole. Um, it's a whole, everyone digging in together. Supporters, players, the coaches, board. We're all in it together, and we want to be back together. Um, so when that day comes, it will be fantastic. Equally, I, I, I think the guys, the way the guys have responded to, to um, the mental side of, of not having that has been fantastic in the level of their performances. So, um, yeah, uh, the sooner the better for us, but, but equally we'll crack on uh, the way it is.